Hello everybody, um, just want to say happy Thanksgiving to you all out there, and uh, I'm just going to make this video, for those that might not have it, I know I was uh, talking to one of my subscribers, and he hasn't heard of this, so um, this will probably be helpful for him as well, but for, but for those that don't have it, I would highly suggest downloading this, free software, there's nothing wrong with it, there's no viruses, very clean, um, what you would do is you just go to www.esword.net here and uh, you just click on download eSword now um, this is very this is a very nice tool um, blue letter Bible is another one the only problem with blue letter Bible is it's strictly internet based so if the internet goes out you know at least when you have eSword downloaded you'll be able to have this on your you know on you and it doesn't need online access for anything so um, you just go ahead and you'll click this right here download eSword now okay um, so you go ahead and click this and then it'll walk you through all the uh, the blah blah blahs and um, and then this is what you'll get you know this is uh, basically the home the home page of it. This is uh, has all your uh, your Bibles, commentaries, dictionaries, and editors. You know, where you can make your own notes or whatever. I usually never use this. You know, I uh, just kind of write separately on a word pad or whatever. That's basically how I prepare my lessons or um, when I use it, in, incorporate incorporate the Bible into current events and these types of things. I just usually write my own things out. But I use this all of this as a reference tool basically and it's a phenomenal tool it's a phenomenal thing to use um, there's a lot of free things you can download from this now when you first get eSword all you're gonna have is the KJV and KJV plus and um, you will have the King James Concordance um, along with um, the Strong's um, all of this stuff you can get for free, and I will show you how to do that in a second. Um, another interesting, another nice tool here is uh, when you get this software and you open it up, you'll have uh, the binoculars here. Click on that, and you know, just do a whole word search. You can actually separate your your word searches into categories. Like if you want to, like I got the word um, blood here. Okay. Um, if, if, if you want to search out blood, like just in the first five books, um, you'll go to uh, where it says Pentateuch, which is, which is Genesis through Deuteronomy, and you can click there, hit the binoculars here, and it gives you all the verses that the word blood occurs in. Um, if you want to search the entire Bible, you just click on Bible, click the binoculars, and it gives you all the verses that the word blood occurs in. Um, if you want to um, type in a phrase or two words, now this is kind of neat. Like, um, let's, I'm going to put the word land, okay? Land. So I got the word blood and land all in one search category. You go ahead and click on the binoculars again. And it gives you all the verses where the word land and blood is used in, this, in the same verse. Okay. Um, gives you all of it there. So you can go ahead and play around with that. Um, also, in this uh, word search uh, section here, click on KJV. You can go to KJV Plus and click on search again. And it gives you all your Strong's numbers after each phrase or word. Okay, so you can go ahead and see what those Strong numbers, Strong's numbers are. You don't necessarily have to click on it. You can if you want to to uh, further strengthen your studies. Um, so that's basically in a nutshell um, of um, how this works. So you got like different options here. Search for any of the words, regular expressions. Um, and these types of things. So that's basically in a nutshell how the binocular system works here in searching for words. So we'll go ahead and get out of that. Um, 
here's the Bible books on the uh, um, on the right hand side of the screen it gives you all the verses all, I mean all the books and these are the chapters here and uh, this is where the text occurs from now here are the commentaries um, when you get this you'll basically start off with the TSK which is the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge which is a very handy tool I think it really um, does a fine fine job of comparing scripture with scripture um, like for example I got this verse up there uh, let's go to 2440 well, 2439, it says, Behold my hands and my feet, that is, I myself, behandle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones, as he see me have. And if you want a more clear, further clarification, you have all these verses. Now you can click on these, and it'll show up here. But you can also just highlight it, just put your arrow right to it, and it'll tell you the verse, it'll read you the verse, the verse will pop up, like, uh, my hands and my feet, um, John 20 20 says and when he had so said he showed unto them his hands and his side then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord um, and it goes on with another one and it goes into Acts 1 3 and 1st John 1 1 you know so it's really good on um, comparing scripture to scriptures there's numerous um, comparisons and uh, cross-references within each single verse um, some of them don't have them like for example this one but it's very very few and far between there's not very many so that's basically um, how this whole thing works like I said you'll start with um, Strong's and uh, you'll start with the KJV and the KJV plus when you click click on KJV plus um, all these words right here will pop up um, and then you have the uh, Strong's Concordance, you click on that, like for this word but, and then you'll see the uh, Strong's number pop up, what that word means, and then um, it'll give you the definition, because you only start off the Strong's and KJV. If you want the full lexicon, you'll have to download the Thayer and um, the Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew Definitions which goes into more detail okay um, um, like for example like all the books uh, in the Old Testament are derived from Hebrew so you click on this you go to Strong's like and if strong uh, Hebrews H518 or H518 you click on Strong's and it gives you the meaning of it right here and then you go to the uh, lexicon the Hebrew lexicon and it'll kind of simplify for you all right to kind of enhance your word studies a bit now now that that's covered I'm going to show you how you can get other versions um, like of the Bibles other commentaries dictionaries um, what you do is um, you go up to um, download right here okay and then you'll have all these categories here and you have these sort of updates too um, like for example if you if you want to download other Bibles um, you go here and there's a lot of free stuff you can get you'll see the word free here all of this stuff is free to download on the software okay the other ones you have to purchase all right so um, and it's there's free versions for a lot of different languages too like um, Afrikaans and uh, <clears throat> Albanian Arabic um, and these types of things so um, but yeah you can go ahead and um, download all these other versions if you so choose so um, much the same thing for the commentaries. All you do is go to commentaries and everything that's free where it says English under English and free you can go ahead and download them and there's a lot of different commentaries okay um,
like that right there. I forgot to download that one, so I'll just uh, click download. And that's that. Don't take too long at all. And there you go, I have it. Um, and if you want to download dictionaries, same thing. You got your uh, all the all the dictionaries. This is part of the lexicon. The Hebrew, uh, the Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew definition, and the Thayer's Greek definition. I also like using the Webster 1828 dictionary. This is the 1828 dictionary, Webster's dictionary, which closely defines the words as written in the King James Bible. Um, for even more further clarification of the meaning of a word, if you so choose to use this, but I would recommend downloading this one and the Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew definitions and the Thayer's Greek definitions to get you started. Right here, right here, and right here. All free after you download eSword. Devotions, you have, um, you got uh, five devotionals you can uh, download from. Um, Hoekstra, Morrison, Spurgeon, Meyer, and, and Rylisms. Um, and these ones you got to purchase. And then the graphics like um, um, like maps and these types of things, Atlas, NASA satellite images, um, everything. All all of this is free to download. And you got all these reference books. Um, Again, all you have to do is go to everything that's free, you can download. Okay. Um, like, okay, Torture for Christ. Go ahead and download that. And then it'll then hit the download button on top. Hit start. And it's download. That quick. So, um,. Now, once you get all of this, you can choose which um, version you want to use. You can go ahead and choose which commentaries you want to use. I mainly just use the TSK, the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge. Um, there's some other stuff on here I will look at, you know, um, just for any extra clarification of, of a particular subject I'm studying. Um, but you gotta remember I mean the commentaries they're they're helpful but you gotta remember you, uh, the Word of God takes precedence over any and all commentaries or dictionaries um, if there's anything that you're reading that might contradict um, what's in the Word of God in other places I wouldn't go by it okay um, like for example I got the Darby one here I would not even touch this I just downloaded it because it was free <laughs> um, um, it's well known that he was a Illuminati insider type deal um, and uh, so I wouldn't even touch that but uh, other than that I mean you can go ahead and use these but like I said make sure that when you use commentaries don't let this take precedence over the Word of God because that is the utmost above all and end all um, same thing with the dictionaries you got all these dictionaries you can choose from to kind of enhance your studies um, but again um, the Word of God has to take precedence over all so but all of this stuff is free to download once you have downloaded eSword and um, and once you download just play around with it um, it might seem a little confusing at first but um, eventually you will get the hang of it I've been using it for quite some time um, I would suggest that you do get used to this just in case the internet goes down you know in your area uh, because you like using blue letter Bible this would be definitely a wise thing to do to um, get used to using so um, hopefully this has helped you in some some way shape or form um, again I would highly suggest to download eSword all you do once again is you go to www.esword.net click download eSword now um, and click the latest version of it and you'll be on your way so um, until next time truth be told truth be known stay safe happy thanksgiving guys and we will see you next time bye bye